Has someone taken away your dream? Have you seen the movie The Ghostbusters? Because if you did, then you, you'll know that you can tell a Ghostbuster by the clothes they wear and the funny car they drive. But you can't tell a Dream Buster because they could look like your friend or a relative or even a loved one. And their intentions could be good, but they could steal your dream. Don't ever share your dreams with negative people. They will definitely steal your dream. Go ahead and imagine yourself successful. It doesn't cost anything to use your imagination. A good thing to do for your dreams to come true is to create a successful team because isolation is a dream killer. You'll need a team to help you to brainstorm and to boost you up after any setbacks. Be sure that the ones you share your dreams with believe in your dreams. Let me just share with you a little story I think you can see how even a person that is successful could have their dreams stolen from them. And a little story goes like this. Many years ago, there was a man who lived by the side of the road and he sold hot dogs. He was hard of hearing, so he had no radio. He had trouble with his eyes, so he didn't read any newspapers. But he sold a lot of hot dogs. He put up signs on the highway telling how good they were. He stood on the side of the road and he cried out, Buy a hot dog, mister! And people bought them because he was enthusiastic about it. He increased his meat and bun orders. He bought a bigger stove so he could take care of his growing trade. And let me tell you something. He was so happy selling hot dogs. And you know what? People enjoy doing business with him. But one day, his son came home from college to help him out. And then something happened. His son said, Father, haven't you been listening to the radio? Haven't you been reading the newspaper? The situation in Central South Asia is terrible. And the domestic situation is even worse. And whereupon the father thought, and he said, Well, my son's been to college. He reads the newspapers, and he listens to the radio a lot. And he ought to know, because he's very intelligent. So the father cut down on his meat and bun orders. He took down all of his advertising on the side of the road, and then he no longer bothered to stand on the side of the highway to sell his hot dogs. And something happened. His hot dog sales fell almost overnight. Then the father said, You're right, son. You're right. We certainly are in the middle of a Great Depression. Don't let nobody steal your dream. Blessings and healing to you.